thank you, Ann. Uh, as Ann said, we are having our, our feature at five today. We're doing a, an in-studio, but we've moved it out here to uh, the Blue Plate stage today to accommodate our guests. Hayes Carl and Brent Cobb are here with us on the air. They're going to be later tonight at the Bijou Theater, and you guys are what, you're performing together. Is that how it, how it works tonight at the Bijou? Is it a like? Mm -hmm. a, are you each doing a set and then coming out together, or are you swapping songs? How's it going to work tonight? Yeah, it's called the Getting Together Tour, yeah. and uh, uh, Brent, Brent and I, uh, well, we we try to play together as much as we can, and 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 you know, play on each other's stuff, and then all of the above, all of the above, tell then, stories, you know, yeah, tell stories. He might get tired and walk off, or vice versa, and but we'll we'll always come back, and um, uh, yeah, this is night seven, I think, of our. Getting together oh, yeah, tour. This it's is been one great. weekend. Look at us. Yeah, yeah. Well, it looks like you've got a couple weeks ahead of you still too. So uh, you've got plenty of chances if you're not here in Knoxville. Uh, you've been coming down through uh, Asheville yesterday and, and here in Knoxville. Where are you going to take it after this for for people listening elsewhere? Where are we? We're in uh, we're in Durham, Durham tomorrow, sure. and we'll then back. Charlottesville, West Virginia, or uh, Charlottesville, Virginia, uh -huh. on uh, Sunday. And then we okay. take a break, and then we got six more in a row. We'll and you can find these guys. They have their websites. Uh, yeah, we'll Carl, Brent Cobb. You can, you can find them online to find out where they're going. Uh, both of these guys have new records that are out within roughly the last year or so. Hayes, mm -hmm. uh, you just released a deluxe edition of your latest record. Uh, briefly tell us about that one. Yeah, I put a record called You Get It All out in la last October. And, uh, and then last month I released... Uh, four new uh, tracks uh, that uh, that uh, had written around that time or recorded around that time, and and uh, just for whatever reason, uh, kind of kept them aside with the initial release. But I really I really liked them and wanted to put them out into the world. So I'm glad they're out there now. Yeah, and that one just came out a few weeks ago. And Brent, your latest full album came out at the beginning of the year, mm -hmm. uh, a gospel record. But you've got this John Anderson tune that we've been playing quite a bit here lately, too. Yeah, Wild and Blue. Yeah, I, whoop, watch out. <laughs> <laughs> I, put, uh, Hot mic. I put a gospel album out uh, called And Now Let's Turn to Page, dot, 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 which is what the one leading the singing will say, you know, in, in yeah. little Southern Baptist country church I grew up in. It's just a Southern Baptist greatest hits. I feel like if I'm a country singer, I need to needed to do a gospel album at some point, and uh, and then yeah, the Wild and Blue tribute thing for John was uh, amazing to be a part of. Dan Arbach produced it with David Ferguson. Yeah, a lot yeah, of cool really cool people on there. Well, we will talk about all of that stuff uh, a little more in depth in a few moments, but uh, let's go ahead and get some music now, if we can. I'll turn the mics over uh, to Brent Cobb. Hayes Carl, uh, you guys got a couple songs for us here? Sure. Uh -huh. Who starts off? I shall. Okay. I'm going to do one that I wrote when my son was born. It's also words I live by. Title track to my last album. If you ever grow up, there's one thing you'll find. Most people that you meet are just about out there, man. Try to tell you how to live They try to tell you how to die They tell you don't get too low But don't get too high The best thing you can do Is don't listen too close Walk on to your own beat And keep them on their toes Keep them on their toes, your business out of sight. Make them look left if you don't hang a right. If the pot's hot, don't let them see your head. Make them gotta know what they wouldn't understand. The best thing you can do when the ignorance shows is walk on to your own beat. Keep them on their toes if you never grow up. You ought to stay that way Cause you can't learn What you ain't got to change Just listen to your heart Listen to the rain Listen to whatever it is That keeps you sane Now I don't have to tell it Cause you 
you already know Walk on to your own beat Keep them on the toes Keep them on the toes You better not try to say Make them look left if you're gonna hang them right If the pot's hot, don't let them see your head Make them gotta know that they wouldn't understand The best thing you can do When the ignorance shows Is walk on to your own Keep them on the toes I don't have to tell it Y'all already know Walk on to your own beat And keep them on their toes All right, Brent Cobb and Hayes Carl with us here on the feature at 5 today. They are going to be at the Bijou Theater uh, later tonight at 8 o'clock, and they are nice enough to spend some time with us here in the studio this afternoon. We just heard a tune from Brent. Uh, we're going to get one from Hayes now. Hayes Carl here on the feature at 5 on WDVX. All right. It's good to be back. I'm, uh, it's been a minute. Yeah, it has been. Yeah. This is the title track to my last record. All my time and all my wild, all my man and all my child, all my faults and all my scars, all my sometimes lucky stars, all my joys and my regrets, all my old guy Clark cassettes. I knew the night we met, you'd get it all. All my lows and all my highs, all my truth and all my lies, all my rights and all my wrongs, all my from now on love songs, all my future, all my roots, all my worn out cowboy boots that I kick off in the hall, but you get it all. And I'd rather drive you crazy being more than you can stand than to let you try to love half a man. And all my cards are on the table And darling, it's your call But I'm all in, it's lose or win You get it all Texas dust, all my humble, all my bragging, all my on and off the wagon, all my feel place to hide, all my always on your side, all my catch you when you fall, you get it all. And I'd rather drive you crazy being more than you can stand, than to let you try to love half a man. And all my cards are on the table And darling, it's your call But I'm all in, so lose and win You get it all All my blessing, all my curse All my better, all my worse But from the chapel to the hearse You get it all Yeah, you're tuned into East Tennessee Zone, WDVX. Hayes Carl and Brent Cobb with us here on the feature at 5 today, sharing some songs and some stories, and they are going to be in concert later tonight at the Bijou Theater. And uh, guys, let's talk a little bit. We mentioned the, the most recent releases for both of you at, at the top, but let's, let's talk a little bit more about some of those records. And, and Hayes, we'll start with you, because you just gave us the title track of your last album. Yeah. Um, and I imagine that both of these are, are kind of pandemic records maybe when when were you working on this record um how have things changed in the last couple of years since since we've all been doing this yeah. <laughs> it's, it's been a minute like like we said well I, m I made an actual i guess what i'd call pandemic record uh called alone together sessions which was um uh 
I, I did with Daryl Scott, but we were in separate rooms. Like it was, it was like full on quarantine time. So yeah. I, I was just at my house, and I'm not a technical guy, but but these computers just come with something that you, all you gotta do is hit record and play into it. And um, uh, so I'm, I, I did my songs that way, and then and then Daryl, uh, who's one of my favorite musicians and people. Um, uh, played about 18 instruments from his house and put it on there. So that that was my pandemic record. And this one was was you know coming out of that. I'd written some songs during that time, um, uh, and uh, yeah, we just got together in the studio. My uh, my wife Allison Moore co-produced it with Kenny Greenberg, um, who's a, a one of the world's great guitar players, and and um, and so we teamed up and and and. Um, yeah, it was just it was just kind of uh, a lot of these songs. You know, I had I had a lot of time to to write um, by myself or, or or with other folks and 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 really kind of dig into the craft of of writing in a way that I hadn't so much before. I was talking about Brent about it the other day. Like pretty early on, my, a lot of my stuff was just stream of conscious and and just grabbing an idea and and you know first draft, best draft <laughs> and and. Uh, uh, and over the last couple of years, I started thinking more just about, you know, how these songs would hold up when I'm, when somebody else was singing it, if I wasn't the one doing it, and 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 just start putting a lot more attention and detail into the into the craft of it. So it's it's a record about relationships, um, you know, with romantic ones or, or familial familial ones or or with ourselves or with the planet or, or you know, on and on. So it, it's, um, I guess if there was a theme, that's what it was coming out of the, that time. Well, a, a song like the one you just played, You Get It All, it, it seems like that's one of those songs that there's an idea that runs through the entire song. And it could be one of those stream of consciousness kind of things. But you're saying now, maybe if you, if you had written that song 15 years ago, uh, it might have been a little different, but now you, you take the time to refine and... and bring some new ideas to it yeah so like that song in particular started off with i had all these ideas just you get it all this this that that and that um but uh there wasn't there wasn't a a, a landing place like the the, the chorus that kind of brought it all together mm -hmm. and and um um uh you know it was one that just sat around for a couple of years and and it took it took some time to uh and another writer to to help me kind of um find out what that that theme was rather than just throwing together some stuff that I thought sounded cool yeah and um so I, it's just it's interesting like um my my first or my second ever co-write was with Guy Clark and he he w paid a lot of attention to the details and it was a time in my life where I I didn't and he told me to and I didn't listen to him and uh, that was uh a but <laughs> yeah it was you know on a couple levels um, but you know, you learn what you can when you're ready to learn it, and uh, I wasn't ready at that point. Um, yeah. And so, um, but these days, I just find myself spending a lot more time with the craft of it and and enjoying that. It used to be something I just wanted to rush through so I could go out and sing the thing in front of people yeah. and hear the applause and feel good about it. And now uh, I, I enjoy the the working through and turning the rocks over and trying to find craft the thing as as, as well as it can be done. Well, you mentioned too, and I kind of want to ask Brent a version of this same question, but you worked with Allison on this record. Mm -hmm. Allison Moore, your wife, yeah. uh, produced the record. And for both of you guys, for your latest record, family was involved. Brent, you involved uh, a lot of your family in the recording of your record. Hayes, you worked with Allison. Uh, that time when people were off the road and at home and doing concerts from home and recording with people in, in different states and places, did that give you time to, to kind of sit with family and, and say, you know, maybe this is something I want to incorporate and, and have you be a part of these projects? I think it did for me. I, we also, we had already relocated back to Georgia in 2018, and um, so I didn't have as much time to co-write with other co-writers in Nashville. And uh, my wife is, so we started writing a lot together on the back porch. We'd get the kids down and, you know, have that little beautiful three hours of bliss and uh child have, free <laughs> yeah, yeah have us a couple of drinks and and the way we'd hang out together is we'd write songs and and she's like i say a lot smarter and got great taste in music and uh so it's it a lot of fun to sort of dig in you know with family i wrote with my dad a lot 
But I, I will write with anybody. I'll, I'll write with your grandma. I don't care. You know, everybody's got a song. You know. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, it, it forced time together, and 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 it reminded me of like being a a, a kid or like at our grandparents' house when there's no toys and you gotta yeah. you gotta make do with the Reader's Digest and a magnifying glass or you know whatever you can do to like entertain yourself and and. Um, uh, sorry, that was a very specific <laughs> to my grandparents. Yeah, I had that. I it was on like my grandparents' couch uh, with the Reader's Digest. I yeah, yeah. I remember. And then you just go around burning everything with a magnifying glass yeah, that you can. And, and that uh, was mine too. Man. Yeah. Um, so even when we got to the basics, and 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 we started doing a lot of those live streams and things like that. Allison did did them on Sundays, and I did mine on Tuesdays. And and it was it was, uh, you know, we were a team, and and we were writing and and finding creative outlets as we were sort of sequestered and and then also using that time to connect with our audience through those live streams and stuff it was really powerful in a lot of ways yeah well uh brent you know you your latest record too and we talked about this briefly but before we came on the air your latest is a, a gospel album mm -hmm. and there is a song that you wrote on the record but but you called it kind of southern baptist greatest hits yeah the only one that isn't is uh the one i wrote with my wife lane and uh with mike of mike and the moon pass I sent him a verse which called "When It's My Time," and it was really uh, it was written because my we, we were, I always have a, a gathering of family and friends that come in for Thanksgiving, and a lot of people will stay at my grandma's house. My grandma likes for folks to stay, and she likes to get up and cook them breakfast and biscuits and stuff in the morning. And, and you know, of course, it was twenty twenty, and so we're thinking nobody needs to be staying at grandma's. But then grandma was like, you know. She just feels like when it's her time, she's going to go. It ain't up to her, you know. Nobody stayed at Grandma's that year anyhow, just in case. But, um, yeah, it's just been – and my own life, I, I just feel like we're all just going in one direction. We're here for a minute, and then we're gone. There's nothing I can do about it. We may as well enjoy it and accept it when it comes, you know. Yeah, well, it fits perfectly in with the, the rest of the songs on the album, which, which as we said, were – you know, these Southern gospel songs, and you've, you've talked about it before as, you know, maybe like a, a rite of passage for a country singer to, to do a gospel record, and, you know, I grew up with that music. It's, you know, I might not get to the building to, to hear it as much these days, sure. but, but when I hear one of those records, it, it still connects with me, that, that sound, and is that kind of your experience, or are these just songs Absolutely. you've been carrying around with you for since childhood, basically? Absolutely, yeah. I grew up in that little country church. That it was actually called Antioch Baptist Church, just like in the song Uneasy Rider. <laughs> uh, Brother John Birch Faithful was not our follower. pastor, though. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, it's this, it was the, the songs that, you know, we couldn't veer too far from from that grid of songs. We right. would always do at least one of those. Uh, and we only had church every first and third Sunday, too, so I got real li real lucky growing up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's but, funny. Yeah. Yeah. Alternating uh, weeks. Yeah, man. We liked it to eat. But uh but those uh, those songs for sure influenced me as a songwriter. And so when yeah, any song that I have are you know, are heavily influenced by the structure of those songs, the melodies and the yeah and the uh rhyme schemes and all of that. Well, and the, the dichotomy of growing up with, with that and John Anderson, you know, mm -hmm. one Sunday you might be, you know, meeting at the old country church, but then the next Sunday you, you're just a swinging. Well, we're usually, you know, my dad played music on the weekends too, so Saturday night I'd be in the in the honky-tonks, the silver moon, you know, and <laughs> he'd open for George Jones, and I met George when I was seven, and Doug Stone and Chubby Checker, and so we'd, wow. we'd, go, we'd go to church the next morning, and my dad would, they'd, you know, so one time there was a guest preacher, which I won't tell, I won't say any names, but he showed up and in, in, in the front of the whole congregation, he said, you know, country music, there's a, there's a new song out. It's called uh, Unanswered Prayers. Let me tell you something. The Lord doesn't not answer a prayer. He answers <laughs> all prayers. <laughs> and if you, if you listen to country music, you probably ain't going to make it, that kind of thing. My dad's like a country <laughs> music singer. <laughs> You just might not like the answer. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. <laughs> who knows? Some we're people just, work real hard to find kinda, a problem. We kind of just spend. Well, yeah. There's this funny part of that. Well, I don't have to go into all that. <laughs> he wound up. 
admitting something in front of the congregation. Got run out of town a couple of years later. But uh, yeah, we're just spinning around on this rock. <laughs> you know, <what> I mean? <laughs> let's have fun while we're here. It's funny. I, so I really enjoyed last night. Um, um, Allison was was hanging out with us for the last few nights, and she's not. She just went home today. But but uh, she also grew up with a lot of those songs, and she got up and sang with Brent, and it was really beautiful. And uh, that's a that's a thing that I don't have. Like I went when I stayed with my grandparents in Waco, we'd go to church. But in the town I grew up in, we occasionally would attend the Unitarian Church, and they didn't have. They're not known for their choirs, the Unitarians, and uh, so they didn't have one. And so we would have like guest performers come in, but we never had a choir. So there wasn't this the standard kind of classics that I I didn't grow up with. It was somebody would come in and sing a Bob Dylan song or something, but. We uh, still, awesome. still informative, yeah. I mean, that's why I got my first guitar. Somebody came in and I heard him singing that. And we would started. have a teenage Chris Stapleton and his brother come to our church with a cassette deck and sing "Our God Is an Awesome God" <laughs> right in front of the congregation. Uh, but that was that was many many moons you ago. You got that on VHS? I was, I, that'd be. <laughs> I, I've got some things. Yeah. Uh, that that are. I see. That are not going to make it into circulation. You're uh, using, you're yet. holding them for leverage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, you heard be, it here first, folks. It'll be a while. Uh, Stapleton's <laughs> getting blackmailed by Nelson at WDVX. So. <laughs> but uh, Hayes Carl and Brent Cobb are with us here on the Future at Five. Uh, they've got to get down the road here in just a minute to do their show tonight at the Bijou at eight o'clock. Uh, the new albums, you get it all from Hayes Carl, uh, Brent Cobb, and let me get the wording right. And now let's turn to Page. Yeah, that's it. Uh, and the John Anderson tribute, uh, Brent is a part of. All of that you can hear on WDVX. Uh, I think we'll let the guys do a, a song together, mm-hmm. and uh, then we'll, we'll let them get on down to the to performance tonight. Brent Cobb, Hayes Carl, here on The Future at Five on WDVX. Let's do uh, Wild and Blue. <laughs> Across town, a phone rings off the wall. If you know it ain't home, why do you keep calling? You're gonna drive yourself crazy. You know that it's true. Just making you wild and blue. Wild and blue. It's no wonder. Look at things that you do. Just take you up young, honey. You're already wild and blue. In somebody's room on the far side of town, with your mind all made up and the shades all pulled down. You know someone is trying to satisfy you. You don't know you're wild and blue, wild and blue. It's no one. Just look at the things that you do. It's just take you up young. Oh 
take you up yonder. East Tennessee Zone, WDVX. Hayes Carl, Brent Cobb here on the feature at five. Uh, guys, our program director, Katie Cawthon, is a huge John Anderson fan. She just uh, texted me a bunch of smiley faces with hearts for eyes ah, emojis nice. uh, in the middle of that song. So, Thank you, man. Uh, sounded great. They're going to be at the Bijou Theater tonight at 8 o'clock. What's the name of the tour again? The Getting Together. Getting Together. Getting Together with Brent Cobb and Hayes Carl. Yeah, y'all come get together with them tonight at the Bijou Theater. Guys, thanks for, for coming in and spending some time with us here this afternoon. Uh, before we get out real quick, is there a, a story? You guys have been on the road, you said, for a week already. What's the what's the craziest thing that's happened so far this week? Or are you just, you just been getting together and hanging out? Somebody had a heart attack at our show in Asheville. Oh. Um, yeah, just fell, over, fell into the arms of a cardiologist. There were two cardiologists. There were two cardiologists who didn't know each other before the show. And they were standing next to each other, and the guy had a heart attack and fell into the arms of one of them. Yep. And um, uh, we, we think he's okay. He, they, he left the building, and they, they got an ambulance for him. But, uh, um, uh, but he was breathing and seemed to be on the, on the, on the mend. I'm going to segue into an, uh, another story. That guy was a volunteer at radio, um, another radio station that WNCW. we went to. WNCW. Oh, yeah. WNCW. Uh, yeah. And we went there, and this was kind of funny. They said, so it seems like musically you all you get along pretty good. Personally, eh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For some reason, for some reason, he thought he seemed to think we were not not getting along. Yeah. But uh, but we are. We're having a good time. I promise. We're out here saving lives and having fun together. Yeah, bringing cardiologists together with the people that need them. <laughs> That's right. And uh, uh, and entertaining to boot. All right. Well, every story has a happy ending when you're with Hayes Carl and Brent Cobb. <laughs> well, yeah. Oh. We're out, hold on. We're out here breaking hearts and putting them back together. There you That's go. Good. That's. That's, that's our sub motto. Good night, Seattle. That's that's the get out line. Uh, Hayes Carl Brent Cobb tonight at uh, the Bijou Theater here in Knoxville at eight o'clock. I'm going to send it back in to the studio with Ann Williams now. Guys, thanks once again for for hanging out with us today. Thank you.